students good morning today i am here with a new chapter for you that is chapter number 5 coal and petroleum you might have heard about coal and petroleum and you are familiar with petrol diesel and all it's a very easy chapter okay so let us begin you know in our nature there are many resources in nature we have air water forest soil okay coal petroleum so many 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 things are available in our nature and we are depend on these resources for our well being isn't it so the resources the resources which are available in our nature are called natural resources the resources that we are getting from our nature are called natural resources okay natural resources are the resources that we are deriving from our nature say for example air water forest coal petroleum natural gas and so on. these natural resources can be classified into two types based on its availability see they are one is inexhaustible natural resource inexhaustible okay inexhaustible natural resource and another one is second one exhaustible natural resource exhaustible natural resource these are the two types of natural resources just you see air daily you are getting air okay for breathe you are getting water though there is scarcity in certain parts but water is available everywhere so water air forest all these resources are available our in our nature in large quantity and it will not be completed and these resources can be recycled such resources which are available in large quantity and that can be recycled are called inexhaustible natural resources or we can say that they are renewable natural resources they are renewable okay they can be recycled and produce again again if you cut the trees plant the tree that we are doing we have to plant more and more saplings and we can produce more and more forest trees so the resources which are available in the nature in large amount in large quantity and that will not be exhausted or even be exhausted exhausted means completed but these resources will not be completed and that can be recycled are called inexhaustible or renewable natural resource example example air forest and water okay air forest water solar energy wind energy all these are renewable sources but look at coal and petroleum see coal and petroleum are actually formed from the fossils of some organisms lived in the past fossils that is the deposits under the soil you know coal is taken mined similarly petroleum is taken from the petroleum wells the petroleum coal and natural gas are available only in limited quantity or if we use more and more these resources will be exhausted so those resources which are available only in limited amount and that cannot be recycled and that will be exhausted because of overuse are called exhaustible natural resources or we can say that these are non renewable 
Okay, these are non-renewable natural resources. Example, coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Okay, coal, petroleum, and natural gas. These are non-renewable resources or they are exhaustible natural resources. So therefore, we must be very, very careful in using exhaustible natural resources because they are available only in limited amount. Okay, hope you understood this. Natural resources are two types, inexhaustible and exhaustible natural resources. Those resources which are available in large quantity and that can be recycled, renewed and will not be completed are called inexhaustible natural resource. Example, air, forest, water. Exhaustible natural resource. Exhaustible means that will be completed because they are available in limited amount. So those natural resources which are available only in limited amount and that will be uh, completed fast and that cannot be recycled are called exhaustible or non-renewable natural resource example coal, petroleum and natural gas. I already told you coal and petroleum are foss uh, see, derived from fossils. What do you mean by fossil? Fossils. See, fossils are the remnants of or the remaining pieces of organisms which lived in the past. Okay, the remnants, the remaining parts of organisms that lived in millions of years back, they are called fossils. The study of fossils is known as paleontology. The study of fossils is known as paleontology. Okay, the study of fossil is called paleontology. So, coal and petroleum are slowly formed from the fossils. The fossils are gradually converted into coal and petroleum. So, coal and petroleum are derived from fossils. Therefore, coal and petroleum are called fossil fuels. Okay, coal and petroleum are called fossil fuels. Why they are called fossil fuels? Because they are formed from the fossils. What do you mean by fossils? Fossils are the remnants of organisms which lived in the past, millions of years ago. Since fossil fuels, that is coal and petroleum are formed from fossils, they are called fossil fuels. Example, what I said? Coal and petroleum. Coal and petroleum. Okay, coal and petroleum are examples for fossil fuels. What do you mean by paleontology? The branch of biology or the branch of science that deals with the study of fossils is called paleontology. Those who study paleontology are called paleontologists. What do you mean by fossil? Fossils are the remnants of organisms which lived in the past. 